Derby Walk is, um, it's special. When you take a yearling horse that you probably bought or even raised, and then you spend two years getting them to the ultimate race, the Kentucky Derby, and you make that big walk all through that crowd, all the way around to the tunnel, something else. You hardly touch the ground. Well, if, if you went to my hometown in Wisconsin, May 2nd, which is Derby Day here, and walk down Main Street, which is about 6,000 people in the whole community, and Main Street's pretty short, and ask them if there was a great sporting event gonna happen on that Saturday afternoon, I bet you couldn't find three people who could tell you they're gonna run the Kentucky Derby. So starting from there was tough. But uh, I ran at the little county fairs and everything, and of course that's heightened your interest. But every kid loves a horse. Every kid is attracted to uh, speed. I don't think that anybody that had a pony any place didn't want to race it against the other kid's pony at some point. So from that, uh, we got a little bit more serious, and next thing you know, we were doing it full time. When I switched over from the quarter horses, we were having so much uh, success that I thought, hell, we'll, we'll do fine in this too. And I told a couple of my buddies, I said, I'm gonna switch to thoroughbreds full time and I'll be in one of these in two years. And everybody rolled off the bed almost. We were all laying there in the motel listening to the derby. And I ran my first horse in the Preakness and we won it. It was Codex in 1980. So I thought, hell, this is no big deal. I didn't realize it was going to take eight more years to get this one here when Winnie Colors won in 88. I totally underestimated how tough this is and how humbling this race is. This one's for, for just all the, all the guys that ever dreamed it. It's from here, the top of the world, we're looking down. These are the four Kentucky Derby trophies that the trainer gets. The Belmonts are here, the Preaknesses, they're scattered in here. I'm self-taught. I made a lot of mistakes, but uh, I never did train under anybody nor or work under anybody. And that's why I think I've reached out to so many young people in our business. A lot of the top trainers in the country, and if you take the top 10 or 15 standings, have come through this program. So we're really proud of that. This is not for everybody. It's just too intense. I think I've missed four or five days in the last 12 years or something like that of coming to the barn. That'll, that'll tear up your social life, that'll tear up the golf game, the fishing, the vacations, or anything else. But it, this is seductive as hell, boy. It'll get a hold of you. got a yearling crop coming in of good bred horses or horses that you bought in sales and then you could look forward to them being two and then three into this situation derby week or preakness week that's what it's all about it doesn't take a lot if you're a horse lover it doesn't take a lot of motivation anyhow we're pretty well motivated we wouldn't be in the business The reality of it is we're here about 16, 17 hours a day at the barn, so why, why have it be anything but pristine, clean, sharp, and so forth? When you, as a potential client, walk by here, I want you to stop out there on the road and look in and say, wow, look at that spot. I'd like to have my horse there. 
So there's a certain amount of marketing there. But of course the proof is you're gonna to have to produce at some point and get some winners. But we always felt that we're gonna spend a lot of time here, at least we're gonna be comfortable. I like things done well. But the bottom line is this. If you demand from your help this situation here where it's polished, that person will carry that attitude into the stall and will do the same thing with the horse. As a trainer, you might take them too far, not enough. You might train them on a day you should have walked them, walked them on a day you should have trained them. There's all kinds of ways to get to the winner circle. But there is probably no excuse for not giving him every opportunity from a health standpoint to get the best performance. We're fanatic about it. And as you know from your product and why we have even chose 707 is the simple reason that we think we give that horse the best chance to be healthy, happy, and run well. We make sure that they are getting everything that we possibly can give them to give them the best chance to run their best race. Because that's one thing we can control. We can't control the gene pool too much. We can't control what that little jockey's gonna do when the gate opens. We can't control what the competition's gonna do, but we can control what we feed them and how they feel.